everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so my lovelies we're doing the weekly readings i'm shuffling the 12 star signs this week so it makes it fair for which poem comes out as a lucky dip really um because sometimes obviously i don't want the same person to come out uh the lucky dip poems always at the end or always at the start so i just thought it would be a fair way so the last poem is for libra Libra, you're last out this week. There's only one left in here. So what have we got for Libra? Libra, what does it say? Organising a big event will soon be on the cards. An unexpected notification will open up old scars. An unexpected windfall will bring happiness and joy. And there is the news of a birth on November the 1st of that of a baby boy. So Libra, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but it's saying some, some of you are organising a, a big event. Okay, we'll soon be on the cards. Now, a big event can mean if you've got children, you could be sort of helping them organise some kind of charity event. Okay. It can be uh, helping with an event of like an engagement or a wedding is on the cards and somebody might ask you for your help or assistance. As I said, it's not going to resonate for all of you. An unexpected notif notification will open up old scars. Again, this is not going to be for all of you, but I just feel here it may be from somebody that you haven't heard from a while and it's obviously going to open up old scars, old wounds that you've sort of tried to put to bed. Um, and it's like a scenario of, you know, once bitten, twice shy type of scenario. OK, so that's not going to resonate with everybody. But I just feel somebody's going to text you or contact you out of the blue. And it, it's that scenario of do I really want to open up old wounds? Do I really want to open up old scars, go over old ground? OK. An unexpected windfall will bring happiness and joy. Okay, so there's a windfall for some of you. And there's news of a birth. And I'm getting the, I got the date really specific, specifically. It's either the due date will be given as November the 1st, okay, of a baby boy. But obviously I feel like he'll go over. Okay, I think it'll just go over by a few days. But the date's given around November the 1st. So my lovely Librans, I hope you can take some of that on board. So Libra, with that said and done, let's have a look at what your overall energy is for this week. What have we got for Libra? Libra, Libra, Libra. So, what have we got for the lovely Librans? Peace. Oh, beautiful. Okay. I love the artwork on that card. It's as though the storm is subsiding. Okay. Lightness is coming back in. Yes, you've been through a battle. But at last you feel more settled in your environment. And it says, embrace your confusion. Let there be peace in not knowing all the answers. So... This comes out as a message really to say, don't overthink things, Libra. Don't overthink things. And free yourself from the um, unknown. I want to say free yourself from the unknown. But I look at that card and I just feel the tide is turning. The tide is turning for you. And a more peaceful energy is sort of coming in this month so let's have a look at a clarifier what else have we got for the lovely Libras oh lovely eight of cups you're just walking away from a very difficult period, Libra. Burning bridges with certain rituals, certain people, certain situations. And walking towards new horizons. Walking 
walking into the unknown as well, but not fearful. Okay? Can also mean that message of just keep moving forward. Don't be fearful of what's going to be coming in because on the horizon, the sun is about to break through. Let's have a look at what, what your hidden psyche, what your hidden psyche is saying this week. What have we got for Libra? And it's deceit. This is what's going on in your inner spirit at the moment. You are going over things that wrongdoings, wasted time. Okay, lies, things that have taken up your energy, wasted your energy, and your spirit is saying to you, you need to let these go now. Walk away from this, do not let it consume your mind, body, and soul any further. Okay, you know what the writing was on the wall, you saw the truth and your spirit is saying accept that now and walk away from it. Walk away from any situation that you've had to deal with where the truth has been uncovered. Okay, this could be to do with health issues. You could have been sort of given the, you know, wrong advice by somebody and things didn't turn out right. It doesn't always have to be relations, but it's as though lies were told and you've seen the truth and now you walk away. Let's, let's have a look what the universe wants to add on to that message for you. The way she looks as well, it's as though it's that look of don't mess with me. I've been here before. I'm not going to be here again and messed about with. Okay, because we've got flames of passion here and it's like to say, you know, some of you could be embarking on a situation of, you know what, I've been here before, I've got the t-shirt and I'm not going to be suckered into that again. The universe is bringing out a couple of cards. So there's more than one message. So let's have a look what they want to say to you. We have the healing temple, restoration, cure and safety. So this is where you are now moving forward to okay healing is coming in you feel safe within your environment okay as in the situation that you had been dealing with before you know you could walk away from oh beautiful and it's the water spirit emotions memory life force but it's as though you are resurfacing you are coming up for air you can breathe again a sigh of relief. Water is attached to emotions. So yeah, you have gone through a very deep emotional stage in your life. Okay. But memories are always there. We never forget. Okay. But we can forgive as much as we possibly can in order for us to move forward. And this is what I feel spirit is saying to you this week. I'm just looking at the bluebells or the irises. I think they're actually irises there, but I've got the name Annabelle. Annabelle is coming through as soon as I looked at that card. I feel Annabelle is in the spirit world. Okay, I've had quite a lot of spirit messages this week, so please check out your moon and rising signs because you could have another spirit message there that may relate to you. I've got the name Annabelle. I feel Annabelle is coming through on a spiritual link, so there would have been an anniversary around this time. I feel a passing though, so I feel this person is in spirit, and I feel it's a child link. I don't feel it's an adult. And I don't feel it was a baby either. I feel, you know, sort of a five, six year old. Okay, I wouldn't say any older than 10 but between sort of six and 10, that sort of age group. 
but they had a fear of water. Okay, there was something about a fear of water. That's not going to resonate with everybody. It couldn't. It could be somebody close to you that knew an Annabelle, okay, or had a child called Annabelle. So I'll leave that with you. But she, she just came in quite strong then. So let's just have a look at your animal spirit messages. And we have the alchemical sign of air, which is your sign of um, the eagle, okay? Also, because that is communication. And then we've got the alchemical sign of fire with the fire ant. The eagle is your energy. You never sort of lost sight of your goals, your prize. Coming in for the kill here, okay? And somebody is working behind the scenes to help you get to the root cause of something. Get justice over something. So, something's coming in for the kill. Something's coming in for the swoop. Taking things apart to get right down to the core of something and get something sorted this week. Could be a breakthrough. Could be news that you hear of a breakthrough on some information. But very positive energy. Let's have a look what the angels and spirits want to say this week for you, Libra. And we have regret. Regrets. I had a few, but then again... Too few to mention. <laughs> Regret. Haven't we had a few of those, like the song says? So, there is nothing sadder than looking back on some part of your life with regret, wondering what you could have done but did not. Go for it. Sometimes it is better to try and fail than not to try at all. All is not lost. You still have time to turn this situation around. Let go of fear and apprehension and follow your heart. So there's regret creeping in here on certain situations for some of you. Regrets of maybe not saying something, not doing something. Sometimes I always think to myself, Maybe we shouldn't regret that situation because it was meant to happen that way. But if you feel you're in a situation of maybe you want to mend bridges with somebody and you, it's saying let go of the fear and apprehension and follow your heart. So if you are sitting there thinking, do I mend bridges? Do I try again? Okay, then that's down to you, isn't it? That's down to your personal choice. But what can happen? It can either go belly up and you learn another hard lesson of, okay, I've learnt my lesson now. But I would have regretted that if I didn't sort of revisit it. So some of you are going to be revisiting something um, just to give you that satisfaction of, oh, I'm going to regret this if I don't sort of look at something again or try something again, okay? So let's have a look at what's going out at the end of the week for you. What have we got for Libra? Just going to grab that card. And then I'm just going to quickly grab the fairy realms. I'm just going to get a fairy realm card out for you, Libs. We'll read that first. Practice. Practice, practice. We all know what practice is supposed to do. Make things perfect. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. So I feel some of you could have had your confidence knocked, basically, of this situation that you've been dealing with, okay? Worrying over, should I, shouldn't I, shall I, shan't I type of situation. There's a new pathway here that the fairies I've got sort of lined up for you. And it's sort of telling you to practice the art of 
let's just go with the flow and not think too much in going backwards. Just feel the practice practice card is there's something that spirit is trying to tell you you need to keep keep at okay keep going at in order to succeed I also look at the practice practice as in blowing your own trumpet I call the shots now okay I'm gonna make the noise now listen to me now there's a new adventure ahead of you here Libra Okay, there's a new pathway going to be opening up for you to follow. The end of the week, the energy comes out of love. I always look at this card, however, as strength. You have fought a battle, some of you, of love. And feel exhausted and weary from it. Some of you could be offering love and support around somebody who is unwell at the moment as well. Being a pillar of strength to them. But I sort of want to pair these two cards together because I feel like you've come to the end of a road, a rocky road for some of you, and now you're just about to cross over into this land of new, new adventure, new horizons where the sun will shine happier for you take a leap of faith libra there's something about taking a leap of faith and some of you even in love this can be okay so my lovelies don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs and until next time you take care of yourself bye then